Now this weave is made of real Indian hair, and it comes to life, literally. Let's talk about it. Bad Hair, directed by Justin Simeon. And the story goes like this. In 1989, an ambitious young woman gets a weave in order to succeed in the image-obsessed world of music television. And as always, there will be minor spoilers, but not the ending. Meet Anna. As a child, she had a terrible accident with trying to get her hair straightened and was left with a nasty permanent scar on the back of her head. And it's kept her from ever wanting to get her hair done again in a fancy way. Fast forward to the year 1989 where she's looking to get a more prominent role at work. The problem is, image is everything, and the natural look is frowned upon. They want a woman with long, straight hair. That's what they want to convey as true beauty. Image is everything. If Anna wants to move up and get her spot at the table, she's gotta do what she's gotta do, because at her current pay rate, she can't afford to pay rent and has to borrow money to make ends meet, her little fling at work is down sleeping with the boss. This woman cannot win for losing. And something has got to change. Anna's boss refers her to a place called Virgie's Hair Salon. Anna has to pay 450 bucks, uh, which is the last of the money that she had just to get this hair done. It's time to go all in. So she sits in the chair, nervous from her past experience. And then the weaving begins. At first it's not too bad, but then this woman is literally putting the weave through her skin. Then Anna's in pain and passes out. When she awakes to the brand new her, a brand new Anna, long hair and all. But Anna is given one rule to abide by. She's told to never put water on it. Sounds kind of like gremlins, huh? Just saying. Now Anna heads to work. She's the talk of the town, and she's styling and profiling down the hallways at work. All the dudes want some of that, and other girls are jealous. And to top it off, Anna gets that promotion, and her spot at the table. Things are looking up for Anna. But later on in the story, her hair becomes a problem. It starts to hurt more than it normally should. And to top it off, her hair comes to life. Starts murdering people. Yeah, this hair is real for sure. At this point, Anna doesn't know what to do. She enjoys her new life. She enjoys her spot at the table. But is she willing to put it all on the line just to feed her hair its need to kill? Man, this is a real fun movie. Very, very good. Um, the fact that it's based in 1989 adds more flavor to it. Plus, I was a kid in that era, and it brought back so many memories. This movie definitely caught the essence of that ever, er, from that era. From the clothing, the dancing, the hairstyles, the TV, even the grainy look of the film. It's a well-made film that brings to life a real issue, but has the right balance of horror and comedy to keep it from uh, feeling too preachy. Well produced with some decent special effects and good acting and a crazy ass cast. Hella people in this one. You got Vanessa Williams, Kelly Rowland, Nicole Byer, Blair Underwood, James Vanderbeek, Jay Farrow, Usher, Michelle Hurd, MC Light, and that's just to name a few, but it's a badass cast. And yeah, like I said, there was a great message in this one, and that is that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, because the media always tries to portray beauty to look a certain way. Fuck that. And this goes especially for black women, because they, have to, they are told they have to act and look a certain way. No, be yourself. Everyone else can kick rocks. I'm a huge proponent of being an individual, so be you. Enough said. And I give this one four out of five severed fingers. Highly recommended. Bad Hair is available on Hulu. Uh, let me know what you think of this one in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this one, give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, subscribe. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Take care, guys.